Are you photographing for yourself? You should be. Today's video is all about the value of personal work. Welcome back everybody. It is great to see you all again. I was just thinking about how in my 20 years being a professional photographer, I have photographed pretty much everything under the sun. Fast forward to 2010, I really started being more hungry to photograph more quote unquote commercial work, mainly just so I would get my nights and my weekends back. I wanted to work for the bigger firms that are throughout the United States, but I lacked a strong portfolio to help me land those jobs. So for a few years, I was happy photographing for all these commercial real estate investment firms, but I was still not getting the type of clients that I wanted. I like to have a relationship with my client that goes beyond just me being like a monkey behind a camera pushing a button. Uh, I want to collaborate with my client. I want to tell the story of their project. Um, I'm passionate about the work that I do. And so I want to align myself with those that are equally passionate about their work. Um, and with the you know commercial real estate investment firms, it's, it's an item in their portfolio to be traded like stock. And um, I wasn't 100% in love with that work. Being a busy commercial photographer, it's hard to carve out the time. In fact, I think any photographer for hire will find that it's difficult to go and shoot for yourself. However, in August of 2015, I had a rare opportunity to go and photograph for myself. There was a company out of Chicago that hired me to photograph two larger healthcare facilities in the um, Milwaukee suburbs, but they needed them photographed in one day, both interiors and exteriors. Thankfully, the buildings each faced different directions. So one faced east, the other one faced west. It could not have been planned better. And being August, I had a huge amount of light to play with for the day. Happy to finally have some time to photograph for myself. I headed right towards Lake Michigan. I wanted to park downtown so I could see what Lake Michigan looks like in the downtown area. And of course, go and check out the Milwaukee Art Museum designed by Santiago Calatrava. Now the Milwaukee Art Museum is a piece of art in its own right, and it has been photographed so much. I mean, there's pictures everywhere online. I, I feel like it's one of the most over photographed buildings, if not in the country, at least in the region. And I wanted to photograph it from a different perspective. I didn't want to use the same tools that I use when I'm photographing for my paid clients. I wanted to shoot this for me. So I packed away my D800, I packed away the tilt shift lenses, folded up the tripod, put it all in the trunk of my car. And the only camera I used was the Fujifilm X100S. So being untethered to a tripod, photographing with the Fujifilm X100S allowed me to move quickly, but yet still slow down and take in the beauty of this building. I studied this building like a figure study or like a still life. And while the lighting wasn't the greatest on the day I was photographing, it still highlighted the building in such a way that allows you to appreciate the beauty of its design and form. I would go into the public interior space, staring up in awe at the cathedral-like ceiling. Just hold up the camera to my eye, steady myself, click that quiet shutter, and then I get images that I'm proud to call my own. Here I was creating images that were unique, at least to me. And the best part was, I was photographing it all for myself. There was no pressure, there was no deadline. I was just free to create. It was a truly artistic moment for me. Words can't express the amount of joy I was feeling being free to photograph for myself. Finally, I was able to create something from my own vision. After having these images up on my website, I think it was about nine months later, I ended up getting a call from a creative director at the Milwaukee Art Museum. And they somehow found my images online and they loved the photographs. They absolutely loved them. The initial call was about potentially licensing a couple of the photos, which I was more than happy to do. But then the call turned to the fact that they were doing an addition and wanting to know if I would be happy to go back out there and photograph the addition. So I spent three days photographing for them, got some great images, uh, so much so that they loved them and had me go back the following January to photograph interiors. But then, you know, fast forward a couple of months, I end up getting an email from one of the main architectural clients I had in my top five list. Turns out that 
they were the ones that did the edition that I photographed and they licensed a number of those images. And now I photograph for HGA quite often. I was really happy to have them so in love with the photos that I took and then to trust me enough to start having me photograph their other projects um, that I sit and I look back and go, had I not photographed for myself, I, I don't think they would be one of my clients today. So it just goes to show you the power of personal work, of how you just need to get out there and create something for yourself because you just never know where it's going to end up. You have to listen to that voice inside you that says, get up, get to work, get photographing, get creating. You have to listen to it because if you don't, well, you're just wasting your talents and that's a real shame. You know, it amazes me how something so small, like the seed of creatively photographing for yourself can with just a little effort, grow into something much larger and sustaining. Just imagine what would happen if we shot for ourselves more often. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and the photos that I shared with you today. But more than anything, I hope that I've inspired you to want to get out there and work on your own personal projects, to level yourself up, to create the work that you want to create, that you're hungry to create, and to get that work out there in the world so that the right person might see it. Until next time, God bless.